Hello and welcome to OK International and Metcal's video presentation of how to test your soldering station for temperature, millivolts, AC leakage, and resistance. The units that we've selected for today's video demonstration include the Metcal MX5000, which is a direct power soldering station new to the Metcal line. And we've also selected the Wall ST2200 soldering iron tester. We've selected the Wall tester because we believe that it is both simple as well as repeatable for test measurements. We always start out with our soldering station powered up and ready to go. It always has to be warmed up. An additional note would be to observe that the soldering station must be plugged into the power outlet on the side of the wall ST2200 soldering iron tester. By connecting it here, we guarantee that our ground reference point is the same for both the tester as well as the soldering station. And ground, is, ground reference is very important. You can consult the Mill Standard 2000 for more information on, on ground reference points. I mentioned before we start out with our soldering station, heat it up. Next thing we do, we always want to start out with a clean tip. This ensures we have good contact between the test port right here and our soldering tip. We're going to start out today doing a tip temperature measurement. Now this is an STTC 036P tip, which means it's in the 600 series of the Metcal tip range. We measure our tip temperature. In this measurement, we're looking for temperature repeatability. Now, since this is the first test of this tip, we place the tip onto the test port and we measure the temperature. Once it stabilizes, we can see that it's around 639 degrees Fahrenheit. Since it's a repeatability measurement, the next test interval, our tip should be plus or minus 10 degrees of 639. If it's outside of that range, the tip fails, it would have to be replaced. Once the tip measurement is taken and recorded, you can replace the soldering iron handle into the stand. Our next temperature measurement is millivolts AC only. That's an important characteristic of this tester, is it allows you to test the AC only, which is the true test of the mill standard. The mill standard calls for a uh, AC RMS, true AC RMS tester, and that's what the wall tester becomes in this mode. As before, we clean our tip off and pre-tin it. We go on to our test port, and we measure our tip AC leakage. Now, the spec for this particular tester is 2 millivolts. That would be the crossover point. So if we were looking for a go or no-go voltage measurement, anything above 2 millivolts would cause this tester to give us a failure indication. We measure it. We see we have 0.18 volts RMS AC. Of course, that's a little redundant. But we also can tell we have a green indicator light. So that's our, that's our voltage measurement. Put our tip back in the stand. Our next measurement that we're going to test for is resistance to ground. Turn our selector fully clockwise down to the resistance measurement. Just like we did before, you'll get tired of hearing me say it. We start out with a clean tip, tin it, and then we can measure our tip to ground resistance. Now the limit on this wall tester, the ST2200, is um, 5 ohms. Now anything over 5, we would get a red LED up on the top right corner and we would fail our test. We would have to then service whatever station you have and correct the, um, the reading. As you can see, we're reading at 0.53 ohms, which is well below the threshold and well below the requirements for uh, today's production standards. Once that test is done and recorded, we can return the iron to the holder and then continue with our testing. Thank you very much for watching our video presentation of how to test for temperature, resistance, and voltage. 
There's more information available at our website, www.metcal.com, where you'll find white papers on this topic. You'll also find white papers on many others, including rework and repair, as well as other testing methods that are, that are available. In addition, you'll find product information as well as an accessory list of items that you can use with the Metcal stations. Thanks again. Enjoy our videos.